Let's keep with the Christmas <laughs> spirit with Wef. Rhett breaks down the top three moments or plays, players of the week. We start things off with warm. But first, what is our theme this week? We got Christmas songs this week. Oh, you know I love a good song. <laughs> Yes, she does. All right, moving <laughs> Start on. Start with the warm. Warm. Makaya B in the song, Is This the Most Wonderful Time of the Year? Because whenever you get to see the skill set of the freshmen, and it's kind of like the new toys come mm. out, it is the most wonderful time of the year. And this guy, we have seen the potential. We've witnessed, like, here it's coming. We know it's there. And then, boom, he dropped it. Dropped Woo. it hard on Bluefield. Look at this dunk. It's not the whole game for this guy. It is just this one moment, the big fella, came out and just threw down the hammer. I absolutely love it. This guy is going to be so much fun to watch. And that just, you know, two second span is a window to the future of his career. I think he's going to be a dominant force for Liberty basketball. Kind of like gravity when Santa's coming down the chimney there. I like yeah. that. Nice dunk. All right, well, we're moving right along to hot. Yeah. What's our song for hot? All I want for Christmas is you. Oh, I'm not going to I'm not going to even compete yeah, with Mariah you know, Carey on that one. <laughs> Keegan McDowell. This is a guy that it's like the brand new like you don't think of him as a, a new guy coming into the program cuz he's been a while but we all know the history and it's just great to have him back and yes. All I want for Christmas is you, Keegan McDowell. The way he has played so far this year, ace on player of the week versus St. Francis, five of seven from three, 21 points. I think his impact has been ginormous. Like he has just been so good. I truly, I knew he was a good shooter. Like we saw that his freshman year, he could get it done. There was inconsistencies, but just the way he has been a standout performer, so much impact has blown me away, and I'm sure that Coach McKay is so pleased with the fact that he's back in the program, and you also get a guy that knows the defense, and that's huge as well. Yeah, I know Coach McKay was not very happy when he decided last season that he was leaving, but of course he's very happy yeah, to have him sure. back. All right, we end things with En Fuego, so it has to be the best Christmas yeah. song of all. I don't know if it's the best Christmas song of all, but rocking around the Christmas tree. Oh, okay. Yeah, Emily Lytle, she has just been rocking people absolutely hard. Versus Memphis, 30 points. What a day for her. I've mentioned it, you know, on our podcast, the Flame Central podcast, take a listen, that last season, up and down year for her. Found herself on the bench, then became a starter, really stood out when it came playoff time. But boy, has she ever hit a new level in this season. Only four games, but her offense is off the charts. I think she's gotten better defensively as well. She can dominate outside and inside. She can post you up. She is the complete offensive package so far for Liberty this season, and I... Like, I think she could even get better. That's the hard thing to believe, and she could potentially come back for another year. She is a force for women's basketball.